Hello, you splendid lot. It's Gran here with another episode of Sour Together. Now then, did the capybaras last week, if you remember. And since then, I've been doing a bit of pathing and trying to get the bits in between the exhibits all filled in, as you can see. I'm going to go around here and... Oh, what's that just popped up? Is there something over there? I can't see it. No, too far away, too far away. Let's ignore it. If we go around here, then we can see where we're going to put this week's exhibit. It's going down here. There's a natural dip in the landscape and I'm going to utilise that. But I need to actually have a boundary. So that's what I'm going to be working on first. I need a boundary on it so that we can enclose it and it can become an exhibit. So I need a lot of dirt to do that. It's not going to end up being dirt, of course, but I need to mark it out with something. So dirt is as good as anything else. So I don't know why I've got so many ender chests. Well, I do because I keep leaving them all over the place. That's why I've got so many. So let me put this down here, down here somewhere. And I need my bed, of course, because you have to sleep a lot in this game, don't you? Every 10 minutes. Oh my goodness, that's so often. And here I've got some dirt, which is good because that's what I want. I'd like this to be a fair size exhibit, but I don't want it too near the others. So I need to make sure that I've got enough space between each exhibit. So one, two, three, four, five. So don't want it any nearer than that to the rats. So let's make a boundary. I'm going to fill all the bits in in between. So it brings us up to the level that we're working on. So that's going to take a little while. So I'll get on with that. And in the meantime, we'll have a look and see what raccoons are. And we need to know what habitat they're like as well, so we know what we're going to put in ours. Right, I have to make a new data book because I lost mine the other day. Uh, let's have a look and see. There's lots of bits that go into it, isn't there? Right, I've got them all. Data book. Here we are. Let's have a look. So, raccoon. I think that was at the bottom last time I looked. There it is. Okay, defensive, omnivore, kibble, small, medium, scavenger, small meat, mammal, North America, least concern. This American animal is an icon of woodlands ah, and a friend to the many fictional characters. However, it is an extremely dangerous species with a high potential to become invasive. There are also a vector for many parasites and diseases that can hurt and kill people and pets. Feeding raccoons makes them more likely to attack and you should always call your local wildlife services if one is active during the day or acting aggressively. Well, that doesn't sound too good, does it? Wow, they don't sound too pleasant at all. Well, at least we know it's woodlands, but I think I might Google it. Oh, look at the capybara. They're up on top of their little hill. Oh, I'm looking at you. Yes, I am. I think he's looking at me as well. I think it is. Oh, the other one's gone off. But that one's got his beady eye on me. <laughs> I don't know if it's a he or a she. Actually, I can't see from here. Yes, I'm looking at you. I love it when they climb on stuff. So this is the shape of the exhibit. It's going to be a woodland scene and I'm going to put a stream all the way down there. I haven't chosen a tree yet that I'm going to use. And if you know from my previous episodes, I'm trying to use a different tree for each of the exhibits. Anyway, I've got a little bit more to fill in, in to do and then we'll have a look at that. Now, raccoons like burrows and they'll make burrows in things like dead tree stumps and old wood piles. So I'm thinking I'm going to have a viewing area on this side and I'll put a burrow in and we'll be able to see them. Now, this is only one thick, but it's going to have to be at least two thick. But I'm going to add a wall on the outside. So it should be good when I get to that. I just keep changing little bits of it. And I will do until I feel I'm satisfied. This will have to go, of course. That doesn't belong in there. And I need to get rid of all this. Okay, that's better. I can see properly now. Okay, I think I'd like to bring this out a little bit more. So I'll keep adding this until I think it's right. Right. There's going to be a little pond here. So it'll probably start up here. Maybe from inside there. And then I need to, I need a little stream to start with, I think, all the way down here. And then I think I'll have the pond probably start 
found here. So, um, and I don't want a big one, so I need to be careful. But I can always bring it in if it's too big. So let's just take some of this out. There we go. Not too big. And certainly not too square. Looks a bit square to me at the moment. So let's have that like that. Get these out. Fill these bits in. Because it's just going to be one deep. In fact, I'm debating whether I should have proper water in here or not because raccoons are not that big this has got to run into the pond so i think i'll bring this back a little bit there there we go will that do there maybe maybe just get rid of that one as well there we go and that one yeah those take this back a bit okay that's looking that's looking okay, I think. And then we want to extend it out this way. And this is going to be a little stream, so it just wants to be mostly one thick, I think. One one block wide, should I say. Uh, I still want it to be a stream down here. I don't want another pond, so let's just take this out and sort of like meander it down in this bottom end. Let's have a look. There we go, down there, right to the end, and it'll go off off somewhere there. Yeah, I think that's all right. Let's have a look. I think that's, that's quite interesting, I think. Yeah, I think that'll do. Now, just to remind me, this is going here. I think I'll just put an outline of where this burrow is going to be. I'll just do it in dirt but it's not going to be dirt it's going to be wood i think uh, and i still haven't chosen which wood i'm going to use so i think it's going to be sort of this size and i put leaves and and a mix of wood and let's pop that there so it comes down here and that's going to be there i think I think that'll do there. Let's have a look. It's night time. Need to sleep. Yeah, I like the shape of that. And I think that burrow's going to be all right there. Yeah. Right, let's choose what we're going to use. Holly. I've done that already. I've done that, so I'm not doing that again. We need something different. Nope. Palm. Nope. A bit bland. Cypress was okay. Let me see. Aspen. Aspen. Let's have a look at that. Hmm. I quite like the inside colour. I'm not a fan of that. But what about stripped? Ooh, I quite like the texture on that. that that's quite nice, stripped. Just put some more there. What about leaves? Have I got any leaves? I don't think I've got any actually. What colour are they? Uh, oh! Oh, they're quite yellowy, aren't they? Let's have a look at that. That's going to make a different one, isn't it? Not one that sort of colour. That's not bad though. I quite like that. Right, let's see how much I get off these. I can't remember what sort of shape these trees are, actually. Let's have a look. Oh! Oh, that's different. There we go. Oh, look at that! There's not much in the way of leaves on them, really. Right, I don't know if I'll get as much as I want out of these few. We'll see how far we get with them. Okay. I've had to start using scaffolding because these were quite hard to get to really. There's not much landing space. But I'm getting there. And we've got a fair few, so I'm hoping I'll have enough here. Right, let's start with that then. Uh, get some up there. Try and get all these the same way. There we go. Gosh, it looks so much like the birch, doesn't it? Look at that. That looks like birch. It does. 
It's a good job I'm going to be stripping it because I wouldn't want that in this exhibit. I, I, actually, I wouldn't want it in any exhibit. Right, done all that. Now, I wonder what the leaves are going to be like. I need to have a look at those because the last few I've done, I've needed to put some wool behind. So this is going to be difficult on this side because I've only got one thickness, but I could put two or even three behind it. Anyway, let's have a look and see what these leaves look like. Let's have a look. Um, let's just see what they're like on their own first. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. I quite like that. I like the dark behind the, the yellowness of it. I don't think I need anything behind it, actually. I think that's okay. Yeah, I think that's going to be okay. Let's do a few more. There's going to be a lot of these in. There we go. I think I need some grass too as well. Oh, just a minute. Just a minute. What haven't I done? I haven't added them on their end, have I? I need to see the log, the inside of it. Let's put some there. Oh, yeah. I, I am going to need <laughs> to double this wall at least. There we go. Oh, behind there as well. Let me just put that there. Yeah. I've got to get these in as well. Need the grass in the bottom. There we go. I think those work better than the green ones, actually. They look like they should be like that, so that's all right. That's worked really well. Let me get the rest of this done. I need to put that grass in there. There we go. There, look at that. Right, let me get my axe. That's it. That makes so much difference. It really, it really does. Right, let me get rid of all this. Nice. I'm going to put some ladders on there so I can get out. Because it is quite deep, is this? And they won't go on the leaves, so they've got to go on there. Look at that. How's that changed? I like that. I do. I do like it. Mmm. Now, I'm going to try and make some small trees. Now, because of the, the leaves on those, the you know, the aspen trees, they were a bit funny, I thought. They sort of like just one block up the stem. So, I'm just going to make some small trees i don't want any tall ones but just some small ones and i'm just gonna put some simple leaves on them in a simple pattern and i think i'll make them all the same so let's just where shall i put this one and that's the stream so i don't want it over there right that might be it so the leaves i'm just gonna put these like this I don't know, I might, yeah, let me just have a little go at this. I need to experiment a little bit and see what they look like all together. Okay, I've done a fair few of these and as I'm doing them, I'm thinking they need to be a little bit taller. Not the trunk, but the leaves, I think. So I'm just gonna add some more and maybe one more in the middle of each one. There we go. Let's have a look. That one's another one up there, look. Don't like that. Uh, let's have a look around here. A bit more on top there. And that one there. And that one down there. I think the taller ones look a bit better. A bit more like the proper aspen trees. Another one there. And make sure they can't climb up as well. And it doesn't matter that I can't get round properly because I'm not one block tall. Yeah, I think I want them all like that, actually. I want them all taller. Now, I've decided to put the border on now because I'm not quite sure whether the inside of it looks right. So I'm just going to put these on so that I can get a proper... Oh, 
Oh, I haven't planned that out properly, have I? That's far too close to that. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That'll have to... I'm going to have to pair that back quite a bit, actually. I don't like that thin strip between the two. No, that just won't do. Okay. I've changed that quite a bit. There we go. That's a lot better. It's not that much wider, but um, it feels wider. So I'm, I'm okay with that, I think. That's going to be okay. Right. So that's gone all the way around. I'm just going to leave that for now because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that uh, outside bit. There we go. That's all on. Right. And that's all back together now. So... Yeah, that's all right, I think. Now then. Okay, I think I quite like that. And I think the more that I look at this wall, the more I like it. I quite like those colours together. So I'm doing what I usually do around where the stream is and the pond is. And that is a lot of podzel and a lot of coarse dirt, some spruce mulch, some... Um, gravel as well nearly got that done I've got some peat in there as well I think that's looking all right yeah I quite like the way that looks let's have a look at the water then so the water is going to come down there and then the pond this is where the pond's going to start here let me just get some water in here there we go. And I'm going to leave that uh, top bit of the stream so that you've got the, the sound of the water there. Let's see if this will go right. There. There we go. So basically, the rest of the water, if I can get this bit to stop moving, is going to be quite still can't get that bit to stop moving okay maybe it's just too far in let's just bung it up there we go it's stopped now there I quite like that uh, that's the burrow I think there's too much too much water here let me just let me just bung some of this up I think bring that out a little bit I think that's better now then oh I need to leave that open so I can get down the ladders yep they're just there okay right let's try and make this burrow now um, I've got some strip left from where I shortened the exhibit so I'll use those first but uh, it won't be enough to finish it I don't think let's just take that back to there pop this there to the other side and bring this along the top there. Oh, I need to make that a little bit longer, I think, because I want the, the the other one to come inside of it. So let me just put that there. Get rid of that. And put that on there, and then I can bring this over. There we go. Uh, that one can go longer. Right, where's my axe? There we go. Oh, sleep time. Right, where was I? Oh, I need to do a bit of stripping along there. And this one. There we go. And get that last bit off there. Right, a bit of leafage now. I'm just going to drape these over it, really. I want it to look like it's been there a while and leaves have grown all over it. But I don't want to give them a means of escape as well. So I need to be careful about that. Okay. Let's go through and put the glass on this side. Uh, actually, I think I'd, I'd like a border there. So I'm going to put this border uh, on the floor and I'm going to put it around the glass as well because I'm going to texture this wall with the textured stone that I've been using. I think that'll look quite good. So I'll put this here and then I'm going to have the border around it as well. There we go. Yeah, quite like that. 
So these are going to go quite deeply down here because I don't want things spawning in here. Looks clear at the bottom, doesn't it? And then a couple of layers of leaves. I think that'll do quite nicely. I quite like those jungle leaves in there. And I think the pink anemones are the only ones that I'm going to use in there. So let's do the pond first and see what that looks like. So I'm going to put these other reeds in. I don't tend to use these. I've only got them recently. So let's have a look and see what they look like. They look quite nice. I think they look a bit windswept, don't they? Let's put some down here. I still haven't decided whether I'm leaving this water in or using the false water that I've used before. Let's pop some lily pads in. One definitely there because I don't want them to get stuck under there. And uh, let's put some in the pond bit. Let's have a look. Where shall I put that one there, I think? Another one in there? Can I fit another one? Just over there. And I like these flowery oak leaves as well. I'm just going to put these sparingly in there. Look at that. I've left that in there. Let's get rid of it. There we go. That's better. And the anemones. I, I think they look really nice in there. I quite like that. It's a, sort of like a very fresh woodland scene. Yeah, I quite like that. I like that a lot. Nice. I wasn't quite sure what that wood would be like, but I like it. Right. I want to vary this wood a little bit on here, so I'm just going to put a few planks in there and maybe a few slabs as well. So let's try this here. And maybe a slab under there. And I don't know if I want them in there. Let's see. I want a few out here though. Let's try this just there. And one on there. Let's put that there. That under there. Just joins that up. Yeah, I quite like that. Another one there. That's and another one there. Is that it now? What about down this side? There. I think that's better. Let's have a look. Yeah, quite like that. Hmm. I like that quite a bit. Right, I've put some grass in and some ferns in. And I think that is ready for the raccoons. Right, let's get in there and have a quick look at what we've got. We have a Capone female, a Luciano male, a little Luciano male. We've got a Luciano female. Oh, missed that one. A Dillinger male. What's that little baby there? That's a Nelson male. We have a Nelson male, a Capone female. I've done you already. And I've had a look at you already. Yep. And you... Oh, I can't get you. Let me get... There, a Nelson female, and that one is a Luciano male. Right, let's get you guys netted. Right, let's see how they do then. So, one, two, oops, three. Right, there's a few of you over there. Can I put another one here? Four. Oh, a little baby one. <laughs> seven and eight there we go right go on then off go and find your little corners and don't forget there's a den here as well nice now then that little one is very little and I'm thinking it, how's it going to do in that water in fact, I'm really worried about all of them with that water. I'm not happy. 
No, I'm just not happy with them. I'm just going to change them for these, just to be safer. I can imagine coming in and I'll have no raccoons whatsoever. So, I was going to be brave, but I'm not. So, let me just change these. And I'll put these everywhere where there are no lily pads, I think. There we go. I think that water's all right. It brings them down onto the pond, so that's okay. Seagrass is just going to have to go. Whoops, a daisy. There we go. I've put quite a few more lily pads in, but I'm a chance that those reeds are okay, but I don't know. There. That doesn't look too bad, actually, with those. And of course, I can't put them on the on there. They've got to go on the actual water. So yeah, so we'll see how that goes. I think that's going to be all right. It's going to push them down onto the lily pad, so that's okay. And I'm hoping they're not going to get in there with the reeds. No, we'll leave it like that and see what happens. I'll keep an eye on them and we'll see how they do. So that's it for this episode. I'll see you in the next one. So take care, everybody. I need to go for a little snoozer all now. Bye-bye.